Collectible toys in a display case. Awards in the background. Family photos of Paul in a wheelchair surrounded by smiling relatives. Photo of Paul in a college graduation cap and gown. Paul lies in a bed at home. His room is dark and white, looking up at a computer monitor mounted on the ceiling above. Growing up, I was not allowed to play video games. I would be on the computer pretending to be doing homework. Close up of Paul's face. My aunt had a master's in computer science. When I was little, I was playing all these DOS games. She would tell me the commands to enter. I remember having a notebook of all the commands she told me. And I admire her a lot. So I want to be like her. So deep in my heart, I want to major in computer science. Paul's grandmother helps get his wheelchair out of the front door of their house. Paul loads into the side of a white minivan with a ramp. The side door of the van closes. Main title, Coding Accessibility, Paul. It's sunny as Paul and Ollie enter the Computer Science Center at USC. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a small number, yeah, 500. Yeah, probably more than 1,000. Yeah, so that's going to be a problem. But for the code now, do you think it... I think it's in good shape for calculating the precision. My research partner, Ali, and I are building software that can automatically scan a web page to see if it's accessible or not and fix accessibility issues in Android apps that are not accessible. Ali Alatahaibi, PhD candidate, USC. If websites are not designed with accessibility in mind, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a very frustrating experience. For developers, it will take a lot of time and effort to find these issues and detect them. Code on a computer screen. We decided to build a fully automated technique that can take a website and then automatically simulate how disabled users would use that website. Well, have you tried it on a real subject, like websites? Paul Chu, PhD candidate, USC. We built these detectors that actually interact with the web page instead of like statically, like this, looking at the code. Oh, that, that, that is like not even the current. But it's okay with it. Oh yeah, show them go, yeah. So these are all the changes you've done. I think you should commit that uh, once you double check the code. So Our tool actually will detect these issues that other tools cannot detect. Ollie types on a keyboard. Over his shoulder, we see code on the screen. We test our technique on a large number of actual websites that have a lot of accessibility issues, and our technique was able to detect them. A sign has Paul, Ollie, and other students' names on it. Our research is the first of its kind to use actually dynamic analysis on these web or Android applications to detect these problems. POV from the computer. Paul types code using an input device with his mouth. We're working on a problem that no one has worked on before. Dr. William G.J. Halfond, professor, USC. What Paul and Ali are doing is trying to develop tools and techniques that can empower software engineers to go and find these kinds of things in, in their own web pages. Even for well-intentioned developers, it's easy for them to introduce significant accessibility issues and failures into their web pages. There's not these kinds of techniques out there broadly available to developers. In Paul's bedroom, a virtual keyboard is pulled up on screen. We can hear the sounds of Paul's assisted breathing. The definition of disability is so wide. There was a study done that said one in five Americans will eventually face a disability. It could happen to anyone. Lying in bed, Paul uses an input device with his mouth. Paul's grandma helps set up some medical equipment by his bed. My grandma is the most important person in my life. When we immigrated here to the United States in 1998, it was just me, grandma, and grandpa. I don't know what I'd do without Grandma. She's always there for me. She's basically my hands. Paul's grandma attaches a video camera to his wheelchair. Grandma sacrificed so much for me. Inside Paul's house, awards and Chinese art are on the walls. In the kitchen, his family cooks food. His grandmother sets up the camera so Paul can see the screen. On a sunny day, the white van with Paul inside pulls away from the family house. 
Grandpa's grandma, grandpa, and father watch him leave from the yard. Bro is my nurse. His name is Ken. Bro drives the van where Paul is a passenger. I call him bro because he's literally like my bro. He's like family. And I took his last name as my middle name when I got my citizenship back in 2009. That's how tight we are. We've been up to a lot of places. I really appreciate bro. At USC, Paul drives his wheelchair out of the van. I got injured at age 15. Living as a quadriplegic gives me a special perspective looking at the world. Paul codes with an input device in his mouth. That's why I wanted to do research on accessibility. Whatever changes there's time. Mm. Ask him to submit a pull request so we can try to merge it in the development bracket. You did it for one viewport, now it works on multiple viewports. I learned a lot from Paul. Discussing ideas with him, getting his perspective. We have a good chemistry working together. When we were taking classes, we would do homework together. We would solve problems together. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can... Paul and Ollie work together. Right? I mean, if that Two doesn't options. work, oh, okay. we can always do manual. Mm -hmm. Because I hear from these guys, <laughs> they send me updates at 3 a.m. and I'm... I'm not awake at 3 a.m. Who do you think you're, you're sending your research updates to? But it's just the uh, the, the, the passion, the, the excitement is, is really infectious. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with this, because I think we have a pretty busy agenda of things that we want to go over in our meeting. Um, what are we going to start with? Uh, so today, we're, we're the first agenda item, we're going to start with the preliminary results. Having an advisor who supports your research and who believe in the cause makes things much easier and more exciting for us. GitHub desktop app is opened. Having this very easy online collaborative space for code is an integral part of our development. Whiteboards around the office show a variety of notes, codes, etc. Web and mobile apps are now an essential part of our lives. We use them to access important services, to remain connected with the world, and to not pay attention to accessibility. We are basically preventing part of our population from having the equal right that other people have. Exterior of the USC campus, Paul rolls by a water feature. There's still a lot of people that don't know about accessibility. I believe every person deserves the equal right to access information, so they shouldn't be just be limited because the developers did not consider it doing their design. We want to do more in the future. There's a lot of big aspect in accessibility. It's not just limited to what we have done. Close up of Paul's face in the sunshine outside. GitHub logo. Credits roll.